<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I have a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today, and it is a squonker. This is a squonker from Lost Vape, and yeah, it's made of mostly Ultem. If you are a longtime viewer of my channel, you know you know how I feel about Ultem. I'm not a huge fan of Ultem. I think it looks like stabilized piss, and I just I, I can't stand Ultem. And in spite of how much Ultem is actually on this mod, I've still been having a really great time with it. I think Lost Vape did a really good job with this little Furian. I've heard people say Furian. I've heard people say Furian. I like to call it the Furian because I don't know. I just like the way that sounds. It's probably not, you know, the correct pronunciation for this mod at all, but I'm going to call it the Furian. And in order to get to know the Furian just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. That's right. Quick short up be closey time. There you go. All right, let's just take a quick look at this Foo Ryan Squonker. As you can see, first things first, Ultim. Lots of Ultim. The whole body is kind of made of Ultim. It's got brass on the top, brass posts running through to kind of hold it together, brass on the bottom as well. The switch assembly, uh, you know, housing is brass. The button is brass. The contacts on the inside are brass. Even the little locky switch right here is made of brass. Pop this atomizer off and you can see it's got a spring-loaded five. 10 connection right there. Just a little juicy, but then again, this is what vape mats are for. This is my favorite thing about vape mats. Boom! Now it's not juicy. And then it's engraved right there, Furian. This is a fully mechanical squonker, and if I zoom in on this switch and how it works, you can kind of see where the contacts are touching and how there's a little spring right here. There's that same spring on the other side, so there's two springs moving evenly. Then it's probably going to be difficult to see, real difficult to see, because of this reflective Ultim, but there's also a little resistance piece right here as well. So you can press the button real, real flat against that contact. Do you see it moving in there? Kind of a real small contact hitting the same place over and over again. Just really insanely nice and consistent firing on this. And the resistance isn't over the top. These aren't like 10 pound springs or anything in here. You just kind of press it and it's cool. And then you got this little locking switch right here, which boop, it's real easy. I thought this was going to be real difficult. Usually, uh, you know, mechanical locks on uh, switches like this on mods are real difficult to press up and down sometimes, but this one just kind of goes. Goes up, goes down. When it's down, you can fire it. When it's up, you can't. On the bottom here, you have the battery compartment and the little squonky compartment, and you kind of have to get in here with your fingernails, or if you don't have fingernails, like a little flathead screwdriver would work, and this just unscrews where your battery compartment's going to go, or where your battery's going to go. Fits a 20 one 700 sized battery in there which is great just great for battery life and then on this side is your squonk bottle so same thing you're going to need your fingernail or a little screwdriver or something these can be a little bit obnoxious to kind of pull out of here but you give this a little twist and you see that little tab come into view and then you can pull the whole bottle out like that it's it's really a clean system and all the time that i've been using this i have never had any juice or juice residue or anything left in there from the bottle and then obviously to fill your bottle you know you're just gonna take this off unscrew it there's a straw that goes down you fill up your bottle you screw this back together easy peasy easy peasy so the bottle goes back in you line up that tab with the slot and you just give it one little twist like that now the bummer part about this is the bottle doesn't fit in there very snug which means you get a lot of rattling when I move this mod around I can hear the bottle in there rattling around the battery side is very secure but the bottle side for some reason the fit and finish on on it just isn't quite there and you can you can have some play up and down side to side and when you're using this mod and holding it you can feel this rattling around and you can hear it rattling around and then we get to this weird weird choice of putting this carbon fiber right here in the battery tube aesthetically I find it very very unappealing it just looks ugly on an otherwise mostly uniform looking mod granted I'm not a huge fan of Ultim but the Ultim and brass combo you know they go together it looks good and then you spin it around and you have this big 
dark carbon fiber battery tube on the back, which doesn't go with the Ultim, doesn't go with the brass, it sticks out like a sore thumb. The only rationale that I can see behind using something like this is they wanted to further reinforce where your battery is, rather than having this just be an Ultim, you know, tube right here, which could be, I don't know, maybe a little bit more fragile. They added this thick, carbon fiber, this thick black carbon fiber tube in there, some sort of extra protection, some sort of extra like crush protection. So yeah, I'm gonna reattach my atomizer and that's really all there is to this mod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. Fully mechanical and, and it just hits really well. These can hold 18650 batteries, it can hold 2700 batteries, it can hold 21700 batteries, which is, I, I think that's just fantastic. So some things I really enjoy about this device, I like the way it feels in my hand. I like holding it. It's a perfectly nice ovally shape and it just fits in my hand so well. I like the resistance on the switch. It feels, you know, fairly strong. It, it, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly almost perfect. It's not too strong and it's not too loose. You're never really in any danger of actually pressing this accidentally because it has some nice resistance to it, but it also has this little switch right here, a fully mechanical locking feature, which I really like. If this mod is going in a, a pocket or a backpack or a purse or something like that, yeah, just the switch. You flip the switch and it's a little bit of peace of mind. It's a fully mechanical switch, so it actually physically stops the contacts from touching each other. It's just a nice little added extra extra safety feature in there. I also absolutely love the nine mil capacity of this bottle. That's just a lot of liquid at your disposal to, to vape with. And I, I think that's fantastic. That's bigger capacity than a lot of sub-ohm tanks. That's bigger capacity, I think, than any sub-ohm tank. In fact, I think this is a bigger capacity than any other squonker out there right now. So if you plow through just a ton of juice through your atomizer, the Furion is going to give you nine mils of juice in there. And I do also really love the bottle loading system on this. It's just one tab. It's one little twist and the whole bottle comes out and it's a very clean system. And you can put it in, line up that tab, give it one little twist and you're good to go. And I do also really like that this is a basically a one-handed operation. I hold it like this, I hit the button with my finger and you have access to the squonk bottle right here. You can vape and squonk to your heart's content without having to like readjust it in your hand or maybe switch it to another hand and press the bottle. It's very much a one-handed operation and I find that just very enjoyable to use overall. Apes great. So a few things I don't really like about this Foo Ryan. It's rattly. It rattles around. That button housing, or not the button housing, the bottle housing, this brass on the bottom, the way that the bottle goes in, Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened. Which, ironically, I was just gonna say that it doesn't seem very secure. It's just one little tab. One little tab in there and you give it one little twist and it doesn't sit in there very firm or secure. There's a lot of play back and forth with this little bottle housing in there. Just that rattly, rattly sound that happens and you can hear it when, when you're just holding the mod. If I shake this mod around, you can hear that rattling. You can feel the rattling on it and that is very annoying to me. I also dislike the Ultim. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of Ultim. I, I don't like the way that it looks. I just don't like Ultim and this mod could not be more Ultim. And I saw Jay Hayes' review of this and he's much more mechanically like, put together, like take apart and put back together mechanically inclined more so than I am. He was able to take this completely apart and he covered this with like a velvety material and honestly made it look much cooler than the stock Lost Vape Foo Ryan in Ultim with this big carbon fiber tube on there. The other version that they sell of this, the version that I really, really want to use is black. It's brass and black with the carbon fiber and I love that look look 
so, so much more. The only way that I would ever purchase this mod is if it was in the black. I, I would never consider, ever, ever consider buying the full Ultem version, but that's just me. That's just my opinion, and, and I realize that it's real nitpicky, but that's how much I dislike Ultem. So really, are you going to need your vape budget hands for something like this? Uh, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found this anywhere from 90 to to $100, which isn't completely unreasonable. You're getting a very high quality device, a fully mechanical squonker with a nine mil capacity juice bottle and has the ability to run 18650, 2700 or 21700 batteries. I honestly feel like that's not too bad of a deal, but you're probably going to need your vape budget hands. I mean, that's nothing to blow your nose at. A hundred bucks, uh, yeah, that's, that's vape budget hands area, absolutely. Now, if we were to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have no vape gear left to vape is the Lost Vape Foo Ryan something that I would seek out and buy. As I said before, I've really enjoyed using this mod. There is a lot I really love about this mod and the only way I would consider purchasing this mod is if it was in the all black version. Overall, I, I do really enjoy using this mod. I, I love the button. I love the locking feature on the button. I love how consistently the button hits. You do need to give it some force. You can't half-ass this button press. You really need to like, brr, like, Crank it down on there, get those contacts touching. The harder and more precisely that those contacts are touching, the harder that your mod is going to hit, assuming it's a fully mechanical mod. That doesn't really apply to regulated mods. And now I'm just getting way off track, man. But I like it, I like it a lot. I think Lost Vape did a great job with this. I just hate the Ultim so much and I hate the rattle. Oh, I hate that rattle so much. But enough rambling from me. It's the Foo Ryan Squonker from Lost Vape. And unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow external links to vape shops anymore. So you're going to have to use your Google Foo. So happy Googling to you. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, even if it's rattly, let's keep on vaping.